Hello, the most beautiful people in the entire world. We are zoomed in, which could only mean one thing. We are doing a full face of makeup that I got in PR to see if they're actually worth it. Okay, well, not everything in this video is what I got in PR. Um, but most of it is. <laughs> so we're going to go ahead and do a full face. And this isn't even touching all the items that I have. There's still some more palettes that I want to review for you guys because I actually just got sent um, for the first time the Paleo palette from Cleona Cosmetics. This is so stunning. And I really want to play with this palette for you guys. But um, I won't do that in today's video because I'm going to try something else. But I want to do a like video for you guys. So what I'm going to do for the first time ever, <laughs> I'm going to do a full face. I'm going to do a four looks, four palettes, because I want to try out the paleo palette. I want to try the ultra ego, the ultra ego daylight palette. I want to try the gourmand girls, like ice cream palette. And, and I couldn't show it to you before, but I can show it to you now. The new palette from the new by us garden busters palette this actually is a new brand that is just now launching and i am going to show that to you guys so for the first time ever i'm gonna do four looks four palettes i've never done that before i'm probably gonna butcher it because well <laughs> those always tend to throw me off so we're just gonna go with the flow and we're gonna do that video and i really hope that you guys like it and support it because like everybody else does it everybody else says how much they love doing it and i want to showcase all these palettes and give them their moment for today we're actually going to go into the polite society the vip palette right here now this was gifted to me in pr this is called the very important palette and i do want to let guys to know that that one shade right here did come in completely shattered, but I was able to kind of press it back together. I think this is the first time Flight Society has rolled out with an eyeshadow palette, so I really just kind of want to test that out today. So we're going to do that along with so many other goodies that are sitting right in front of here. And of course, we are going to do a wear test because we're going to see how well some of these matte products hold up against my very oily skin. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to start off with the eyes. I'm going to go in with my Sigma. I absolutely love my Sigma eye base right here. <laughs> Y'all already know the drill on this. This is just such a really, really, really good eye base. I don't know what it is. It just dries down so quickly. It makes shadow blending upon it very, very easily and effortless. And it's just so freaking good. For my brow products, I actually did just go in with the Benefit Precisely My Brow Definer. That's what I went in with that because I do have a new um, ABH brow gel that I want to try because I recently bought the Sephora Favorite Kits and I never did anything with them. I bought them and I haven't played them yet. So you're going to see some of them in today's video too, because I just really want to play with them. So let's start off with the eyes. I'm going to go into the Ultra Ego brushes. Now this just launched with the Daylight Collection. So this is the 203 brush. We're going to go into this shade right here. I'm going to do something very kind of like neutral-esque. So I'm going to go into this shade right here. I'm going to start to just kind of tap that right here. I really want to try out these brushes because Ultra Ego just launched them with the Daylight Collection. And so far they are very, very soft. This 203 brush is extremely soft. I like that. I'm gonna take the 204 brush to go in that same color, just, just so I can lightly run it along my crease line right here to softly bring that forward. Ooh, this brush is super soft. Wow, okay. Okay, so that shadow blended out really nicely, but I am gonna take this, shadow, this little shade right here to help to diffuse that just a little bit more. You guys know that I absolutely love taking a setting powder and running it along my shadow to really help to diffuse this but since this is like a nice little light shade i feel like this can work really nicely and it's working beautifully i like just did a video of me doing a massive pr haul that like never happens for me if you guys have been on my channel for a while you guys know that i don't like i said to get pr that often but when i do it's still like i don't know it takes me back just because i never never expect it at all but when brands send me stuff it seriously does mean the world to me like <laughs> it's still like so surreal because i just remember sitting in my one bedroom apartment when I first started my YouTube channel and I would sit right in right in my living room with a sheet right behind me and my iPhone 7 camera and I would just start to film YouTube videos and like when I look back on that content I could like see how far I've come never in a million years would I ever dream that a brand would ever send me anything and so whenever it happens it just kind of like makes me want to hug that girl that sits right there and just be like girl like just keep going you know what i mean i'm gonna go into this shade right here i want to see how well their shimmers perform without glitter glue so we're gonna try this without glitter glue but it just makes me want to hug that girl and be like girl don't give up because there are times when i really wanted to throw the towel in and oh god there's times i still want to do now but um 
it's just, I just want to hug her and be like, you just got to persevere and just keep pushing. You know, I never thought that me sitting there, my first video will be me doing a, I tried following a Robbie Christie tutorial, whatever turned into anything because my next video after that was my fake false lashes uh, video where I tried to show you guys how I do lashes. And oh my God, it's just so crazy to see like where I once was to where I am now. And I feel like you can definitely see like the difference between like how comfortable I was on camera then versus how I am now. You know what I mean? It's just so different, so different. But I don't regret any of it. Like I look back on it and I just like, look where I started. And it's why like I never delete any of my old videos. I know like as people get bigger and they grow on social media, they tend to delete their older content. But I'm like, why? Show where you came from. Because everybody came from, like everybody started from somewhere. You know what I mean? No one's first videos are perfect. And so it's kind of nice to see like the imperfections and knowing that like, hey, <laughs> we all started with like barely anything. And it's just, I don't know. It's really cool to see. Okay, then I'm gonna take this shade right here to go right next to that. I could honestly add glitter glue. I think it really would make these shimmers pop more, but I kind of want to go for more just like a softer look because I'm not gonna wear false lashes today. I'm literally just going to wear mascara. So I don't mind my eyeshadow look being a little bit more softer and a little bit more dainty and versus being really bold and pigmented. So I feel like these are performing just the way they need to, but I really do think that if you wanted to enhance it, adding some glitter glue can really, really enhance the shimmers that are in this palette. And then I'm gonna take this little shade right here to go right in that little inner corner moment, just like so. Okay, so here's just kind of where we are right here. Just very soft, very just everyday eye look. I'm gonna do my other eye off camera because I am so excited to try some of these primers that I have, setting powders that I have, blushes and lips. Like I have the infamous Elf X Michaela. I wanna see if this is gonna be a color for me because I'm kind of scared that it's not going to be. <laughs> I'm kind of scared that it's gonna be a little bit too pale, but we're gonna find out together. Okay, so now that the eyes are on, I will say the eyeshadow palette, it's cute. It's a cute little neutral moment palette. I feel like if you really want your shimmer to pop, you really should lay down some glitter glue. Otherwise it is nice. There is some fallout to the mattes. There's definitely some fallouts with the shimmer, but they do lay down nicely. They just don't have as much like oomph in your face but I wanted a more softer natural look that I can wear like if I'm, if I'm gonna go to work right now where it's not too in your face too bold so I, I didn't mind not using glitter glue but it is nice overall it did suck that this shade did come in um, broken because it's more like a glitter topper but it is a cute palette nonetheless so moving on to the base I actually have two primers I want to try out today so what's up beauty sent me their positivity this is a lightweight hydrating face primer and this is a hydrating primer that with hydrating primer with purpose that's built to be a lightweight with that fast absorption to extend the wear of your makeup and give your face a freshy dewy finish this is a water-based smoky formula with no fragrance or tint which will soften and smooth your skin while leaving a slightly sticky finish to grip your makeup so this is this formula is silicone free but i also want to try out the pore professional matte primer this is a mattifying primer to minimize the look of pores so it says this refines the look of pores mattifies skin and helps makeup stay Put with this lightweight oil absorbing primer. It's a 12 hour pore refining, eight hour mattifying, translucent, non comedogenic. So I'm gonna do one side of my face with the Pore Professional Benefit Cosmetics Primer, one side of my face with the What's Up Beauty, even though this is more of a dewy finish. I just wanna kinda see how well my makeup is gonna hold up on top of each primer to really kinda test it out. We are gonna use the same setting powder. I'm gonna use the same foundation. I just wanna kinda go in to see what is going to control the oil the best. Now, I will say because of the fact that What's Up Beauty is meant to be more more for it to be finished and a gripping primer it's not meant to absorb the oil i won't be surprised if i do get oily on that side more than i will the benefit but this is just a great test for me to see how well the benefit primer actually holds up that is the biggest test really is testing out more the benefit than anything else so we're gonna go on this side with the benefit this side with the what's up beauty both are gifted to me in pr and this is how the benefit one looks this is our first time i've ever done a mattifying primer they do have like the pore professional pore blurring primer which i always feel like it never actually does anything for the pores but that's just me so let's go ahead and try this out looks like so and we're going to start to just push this into the skin oh this actually has a thick formula oh my gosh i was not expecting it to be thick <laughs> This is thick, y'all. What? Smells really, really, really nice. But oh my gosh, it actually is pretty thick. Not what I expected. Now on this side, we're going to go in with the What's Up Beauty. I absolutely love, love, love What's Up Beauty. They have some phenomenal products. My favorite one, though, still from them is their um, Dragon Eye Palette. Freaking love that. So let's go on this side. Okay, this definitely feels a little bit more lightweight. It feels more like 
silkier. It feels definitely a like a water base. It feels so different from the, from the Benefit one. Very lightweight. It's going on really smoothly. It definitely has more of a white cast to it though. I'm going to use too much. And it does not have a fragrance to it. Okay, so between the two sides, this one's already starting to dry down. It has not really a tackiness to it. This one has more like a cooling sensation. I can feel it definitely sitting on the skin. So I definitely wanted to kind of, you know, dry it down just a bit to see how well it's going to look. But I will say, even though it's been like a minute or so, the benefit you can definitely tell is starting to dry down. The pores definitely look a little bit soft. They don't look too present. They're still there, but they definitely looked a little bit more softer for sure. Both sides of my face have a little bit of a shine to it though. So let's see. Says it has a little bit of tackiness to it. They both feel the same in texture. They both feel a little tacky. Interesting. I wonder why that is. But they both feel tacky. Okay. <laughs> okay. Both feel a little tacky. Okay. So for foundation, I don't have a new foundation, but I'm just going to go into the Polite Society More Than Pretty Face Skin Caring Foundation. I really do like this foundation. I've been wearing it a lot recently. Um, I know that it's a pretty good foundation to help control the oil and makes your makeup last really, uh, makes your makeup last all day. And it blends really, really nicely with so many other products. So we're going to go in with this today. And we're going to put this all over the face. Before we go in, we're gonna put this all over the face and let it dry down before we go in with our other products. Not the foundation is on, I will say between the two sides, the benefit side, I feel like my foundation didn't wanna blend as nicely. I don't know if you guys can tell, but I feel like my pores are definitely more visible on the professional side versus this side. My skin looks a lot smoother. It looks more hydrated. My foundation blended a lot easier on this side versus this side. Now I've played with this foundation so many times so i know that it's not the foundation itself clearly it is the primer underneath so that's something i definitely want to like take note of is that this side because it's just got so dry my pores are just really 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 visible super visible whereas this side they definitely look a little bit more softer more diffused which is really interesting because this claims to blur the pores and yet the pores are more visible on this side with the product versus the side without that is why I wanted to do the comparison to really see. So for bronzer, I'm just going to go into the Morphe bronzer right here. I really have been enjoying this bronzer. I just think it's really nice bronzer. It just like melts into the skin. This is the Sun Drop. I have the shade called Money Honey. And I just really have been enjoying this bronzer as of lately. Just love the way that it just seriously just melts into my skin. It just gives me a really soft sun-kissed glow. Okay, so for blush, I was sent like so many blushes from ColourPop, they sent over their lip and cheek blush products right here. So we have so many different shades that we can choose from. I'm going to go ahead and put pop in a little reel right here so you guys can see the swatches of every single shade. But I want to use one of these today to see how well it works. I think the shade that I want to use... It's a shade called Lucky You. I feel like this would be like a really pretty shade on top. But I also want to try the House Lab one that was sent to me as well. I'm going to do one side with the ColourPop, one side with the House Lab. So I just so I can see the difference. I honestly might just even mix the two. But this is the shade called Lucky You. This is definitely more of like my shade that I would definitely go for. So I'm going to dip my brush, I'm going to dip my sponge into this. I'm starting to just tap this right here. This is such a soft baby pink. Oh my gosh. This is so pretty. Do you guys see that? It just like melts into the skin. And the best part about this is that you guys can use this as a lip tint in case you want to. But for me, I don't really like using like cheek and lip balms together. I don't know why. I'm really weird like that, but I just don't. It's just going to tap that in right there. That is such a pretty color. Okay, now I'm going to take the shade um, called Glassy Hibiscus. This was sent to me in PR. I'm just going to kind of rub this right here just so I can see a difference between the two. I already know I love this formula because I have another one, Glassy, or um, Glassy, like, Hibiscus. That one's so freaking pretty. Okay, wow, that just, like, melts into the skin. It's really light in color. Do you guys see how light in color that is? It's a nice color, but it's very, very light, almost where it's, like, not showing up. This one has a little bit more pigment than this one does. Okay, that's a little interesting. I wonder if I can deepen up my shade just a little bit. I might take this shade called Body Blurry right here. And very lightly, like very lightly, go in with that shade right on top. Ooh, that's so pretty. 
It's like a nice little peachy vibe. Now it's gonna be messy because I do bring it up towards my eyes because we're gonna go in with my concealer afterwards to help clean it up. But that is a, such a pretty color. I absolutely love the way that these products work. This is why I wish that like I didn't have really like oily skin because I see so many amazing content creators out there or just people in general that get to wear products just like this and they don't have to do anything else. They don't have to like really set the face. I have to because I get so oily. I do not have a choice. I have to set my face. <laughs> It sucks so badly. Really pretty combination. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in quickly with my Tarteless Creaseless Concealer right here. And we're just gonna quickly um, put my concealer on. Okay, now that the concealer is on, we're gonna go in with setting powder. So this is the Professional Power Powder. Matte and Blur's Loose Setting Powder. So this is a... Um, the Silky Soft Super Fine Powder with a 16-hour staying powder blends on seamlessly to mattify skin, set makeup, and blur pores. Translucent, natural matte finish, natural matte finish weightless feel, non-comedogenic. Oh, <laughs> y'all, we are trying this out. And I feel like, oh my gosh, I feel like I barely talked to you guys this video. I'm so sorry. I've just been trying to like, I feel like, I feel like I barely talked to you guys this video. I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry. I just have been in my zone wanting to try out these products. So let me just take this. We're gonna put some in the cap. That's how the product looks. And we're really going to test this bad boy out. Top some off the hand. And let's see. It's definitely lightly fragranced. Um, it kind of smells just like the um, primer does. It is definitely lightly fragranced. So if you are someone that's not really into fragrance, um, it's not too heavily scented, but it definitely is present. It's there. It's very soft and like clean smelling, like sweet, clean smelling, sweet, clean smelling. But here is the side of the face. Okay, so here's one side of the face with the powder set. Again, those pores are visible, but I'm really curious if you see how it's gonna set on this side. Okay, so this is how the face is looking right now. It definitely is looking soft and blurred the powder went on really really nicely but i will say again between the two sides i feel like my pores are still more visible on this side than it is on this side so that is something to definitely take note but i will say i'm actually quite impressed with the with the color pop like blushes i went back in just a little bit with the cream powder the cream blush just to kind of put on top of the powder i know you're not really supposed to but i wanted to just add a little bit of extra oomph to the look so I wanted these. They're nice. They are really nice. Now for highlighters. I have a few highlighters that I could try. So Surat Beauty sent over one right here. This is like um, almost like a holographic highlighter. It's going to look like so. So I have that that I could try. But I also have the um, ColourPop Winky Lux one that I have not tried yet. It looks like so, and it's gonna look like that, like a pinky. I feel like that might be too much. I feel like that might be too much for this. So I think what instead I'll do is I think I'll just go into the Merit Beauty one. This came in my Sephora favorite ones, and this is how like this highlighter looks. So maybe I could try this a little bit. I don't know if I'm doing this. I don't know if I'm doing that right. Probably not. Uh, kind of gives you like a glow from within type of feel. Definitely just gives me like a lit from within look. Mm. Okay, well, wait a minute. Let's try. I'll try the Surratt one. I'm just like tap some of this on here. I had a little bit of extra shine to that. But not by much. Okay. <laughs> okay, then we're just going to go into the ColourPop one at this point. Okay. Let me just take the ColourPop one then, very lightly. Ooh. Ooh, that's pretty. Ooh, that is pretty. That is also blinding. Oh my gosh. I'm adding kind of a little bit too much. I'm adding kind of a little bit too much, and now there's like a line. Well, shit. There's that. Okay, well, that's fine. That's fine, y'all. We're just going to add it to the review, because why? Why not? Okay. So to finish off my eyes, I'm just gonna lightly go in with this shade right here. This like brown shade, I'm just gonna buff it out with this shade just to lightly do under my eyes. And then I'm gonna throw on some mascara. Now for mascara, I have the brand new um, YSL. This is the Extreme Volume Mascara. I got sent this in PR. I also got sent more than the greatest lash of all time from Polite Society. So what I'm gonna do, 
since I currently already own both, I'm just going to mix them both together because like, why not? I forgot how chunky this wand is. Uh, I find chunky wands not to be the easiest for me to work with. I, for some reason, I just get them everywhere. They're always so messy, but we're just going to try this one out. It is super, 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 super soft. Okay, so that's how the lash is looking so far. Now I'm going to take one of my favorites, which is the Polite Society Greatest Lash of All Time. And we're going to go in right behind that. Definitely more of a smaller wand. And we're going to mix the two together. Okay, so now that the makeup is on, we're going to go in to finish off the brows. We have the Anastasia, we have the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the brow freeze gel right here. I'm just going to softly just kind of go through my lashes very, ooh, very softly. We're going to go ahead and set the face. I'm just going to use my one size setting spray. Okay, so to finish off the lips, if you guys have not seen, I actually did a reel and a TikTok and possibly a short, I'm kind of pre-filming this, um, of the new Maybelline. These are the lifter lip liners right here. I have to say, these are so creamy and buttery to the point that they're a little bit too creamy because they are breaking really easily, but these are beautiful. Such a beautiful formula. I did swatch all these colors along with all the Milk Makeup like lifter glosses. I went ahead and I swatched all of these as well. So if you guys want to check out that reel, I will have it like if you guys want to check out that reel, you guys can find that over on my Instagram and over on TikTok. That is where you'll see all the swatches of these right here. So I will see these are incredible. I also did the same thing for Milk Makeup. If you guys haven't seen, I already posted a short of me swatching the new Milk Makeup glosses. Now these are an extension to their Odyssey line. They came out like the lip glosses, I want to say six or seven months ago and decided to release some more shades to that line. Again, I filmed a whole TikTok and reel in short. If you guys want to go check that out, they're already posted to my other social medias. So for lips, I am gonna try out the e.l.f. Michaela one right here. This went viral a year ago for her wedding. This went viral over a year ago when she launched this. I think it sold out in 12 minutes and then, or 12 to 18 minutes. And then she just relaunched it again like a week or two ago and it sold out within like 12 hours. And I just kind of want to see what the big hype is because when I bought this, it was 12 bucks, but I swatched it and I was like, ooh, I don't know if this is gonna be for me. But this is the Marriage Material Lip Duo. This is a signature lip created by the beauty content creator in honor of her big day. Day. So um, we're going to try this out and see if I like to see if it's actually worth the hype. I will say I do like the fact that it's super cheap, but we're going to see. I'm really curious because this is supposed to be her perfect wedding lip combo. And I want to know if it is. So we're going to go in with her lip liner right here. This is to death do us pot. Okay, I do like the color. I will say though, I am not a big fan of pencil lip liners. I'm more of a like creamy lip liner. This is, I'm, I'm not a big fan of the pencil lip liners. I like more of like these style lip liners. I think they're like the same thing, but I don't know. I just feel like these are just like creamier and they just blend better and they're just, they just glide on like butter. These ones you have to work with are just a little bit more. Okay. So I will say the lip liner pencil, it's actually a really pretty color. I really like that color. Now to move on to the lipstick. Now this lipstick, I'm not sure it's going to be for me because this is a um, nude lipsticks and this is in the shade called Pucka Up. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Ooh, that is not a shade for me. No, that is too, like, that's too nude. <laughs> that is too nude for my personal taste. Um, it's a little bit too pale and that's just me. I know a lot of people out there love like this type of look and like love this type of paleness. I personally don't. I just find that it just looks really unflattering and almost looks like it's concealer lips for me. So I am not the biggest fan of the color. Formula is nice. I like the lip liner, but the color is it's a no for me. It's a no for me. Okay, thank God it's only 12 bucks. Thank God. I feel like that's the type of lipstick color that I'd want to put in the center to like highlight and accentuate the like little pout, but as a standalone, <laughs> no. So I'm going to take um, a like milk makeup gloss. So this is in the shade called Day Trip. We're going to put that on top to see if we can kind of like enhance it a little bit, maybe improve the color. I don't know.
So let's take this Milk Makeup in the shade called Day Trip. See if we can enhance this just a little bit more because it's a no for me. It's, oh no. Ah, oh, so much better. Not to mention the formula on this is incredible. It's so soothing, so hydrating, and it has the most softest Dilfa applicator, and it has such an amazing smell to it. That That is what I'm talking about right there. That is like the lip color I'm looking for. Nothing against Michaela because at the end of the day, I know that everybody has their own preference when it comes to the lip combinations. I know that my lip combination that I came out with over cosmetics wasn't for everybody, but for me, this is definitely not for me. Lip liner, yes. Lipstick, absolutely not. But hey, you know what? That's the beauty of the makeup industry and the beauty, that's the beauty of the, of the makeup communities because we're all entitled to our own preferences and tastes and that was just not it okay guys so this is the final look right here now before i go into the wear test i will say pretty much everything i tried i actually really do like minus lips your lips are the only thing i'm like not a fan of at least the michaela lip kit i do like the milk makeup glosses but first impressions of everything i do like from the primers to the setting powders, to the palette, to the mascaras, to the blushes, to the lip glosses. I do like these products, but we're definitely gonna be having to test them out. I will say that looking at both sides of my face, this side with the um, What's Up Beauty primer just looks softer, just looks more blurred, and it just has a better looking appearance. It just has a better looking, it just looks better in my opinion, versus the side with the Professional Matte Primer. I don't know what it is, but I just feel like my, my makeup products didn't look didn't did it mix as nicely on top of this as it did with the milk as it did with the what's up beauty what's up beauty just blend it so effortlessly it looks really beautiful whereas this one i can definitely see my pores are still accentuated and i can actually see some products sitting in my pores but that's just one of the concerns i have i really just want to see how well it is going to contain the oil throughout the day so with that said i'm gonna go ahead and start my wear test and i'll be right on back all right guys it is 12 hours later so now we're gonna take a look at the face um, I can safely say that this side with the What's Up Beauty is definitely <laughs> pretty oily. She's pretty oily, but the makeup is actually holding on quite nicely. And then the side with like the, um, Benefit, not as oily. I'm still oily, but not nearly. Like this to me is definitely more shiny. I'm definitely more oilier here, but like right here, I'm definitely getting some like oiliness for sure. Um, the eye makeup is holding on. The foundation has not broken, broken apart on either side. The foundation has not broken apart on either side. It has not transferred my, my chin, maybe just a little bit, but in reality, it has not really budged or transferred too much. So that's actually kind of good. Um, the lip liner didn't have as long longevity that kind of came off rather quickly, but overall, even though I'm actually pretty oily, it's not bad. Like it's not bad between both sides only because they're holding on. And I don't know if it's because they're holding on because of primer or the foundation or the setting powder, but my, my, but my makeup is not separating, which I do really appreciate. But I will say I am definitely really oily. So I would say that between the two, like they're not really meant for oily skin as you guys can see right here, but they're really not bad. And then the eyeshadow has not creased. The mascara has not flaked. Everything is holding on minus the lips. And that's about it. So overall, 12 hour wear. I don't think either product is bad. I think they both worked quite nicely. And I'm oily. It's not a bad deal. Not a bad deal at all. So for me, I think these products based upon first impressions are approved, but I'm obviously gonna keep testing these out. But first impressions, I will say they're nice. I still think I prefer the What's Up Beauty primer over the Pore Professional, because this just emphasizes my texture and pores. And this did not make it felt better on this side, but not bad. Not bad at all. Alrighty, guys. So that is it for today's video. Thank you so much to all these amazing brands who did send me products. I'm still just like in awe because it's just not, it's just something that I'm just like not used to. I am so used to buying everything myself. So when things get sent to me, I'm like, oh, wait, what? It's still like just the coolest thing and I'm forever grateful. And I'll make sure I link all the products that I'm wearing down below. But that is it for today's video, my most beautiful friends in the entire world. I hope you've had the best day ever. But if so, if you have, please make sure you guys give this video a cheeky thumbs up. If you have not, well, then feel free to give it a cheeky thumbs down. Either way, I am forever grateful to each and every single one of you. If you guys want to, you guys can subscribe to my channel because it really does help me out. And if you guys also want to check out, I do have a second channel. It's called R for Life where me and my, me and my husband 
make vlogs and post wonderful ventures whenever we do get to them. And as always, I just want to give the biggest thank you to these most amazing, wonderful Patreon members in the entire world. And then as for you, the most beautiful viewer, thank you so much for being here. Whether you liked this video, you thumbs down this video, you subscribe, you unsubscribe, you did not subscribe either way. Thank you so much for being here. I love and appreciate each and every single one of you. So with that said, I love you and I'll see you guys in my very next video.